We are learning chilling, horrific new details from the Hamas attack on Israel's Supernova Music Festival, uh, where everyone was gathered in the middle of the desert to celebrate and have a good time. At least 260 confirmed deaths at that single event. Yuval Uzan survived after being shot. She joins us now after being discharged from the hospital. And earlier today, her cousin, Yareen Weltzman, uh, uh, is with her now. Good morning to you both. Uh, Yareen, we know that your cousin doesn't speak English, so you're here to share her story on her behalf. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having us. Uh, first, we're so glad to know that Yuval is is stable and doing well. Can you kind of take us back to this weekend and tell us what happened to her at that festival and how it all unfolded? Sure. So, as you know, this festival was one of Israel's biggest festivals, equivalent to Coachella, any big music festivals in the world. Um, Yuval had arrived there. Um, Kind of late at night, these parties go on for a very, very long time. As the sun was rising, all of a sudden, they started seeing rockets being um, sent over from the Gaza Strip. People in the area obviously started being extremely alarmed. They didn't know what was going on. There's 5,000 people, open fields, um, and everyone starts running. Yuval and her friends get into the car where they start driving as they hit the road. All of a sudden, there is an ambush and their car gets riddled with bullets. Already on the get-go, Yuval gets a bullet straight into the side of her body and starts... Mm. She, was not in a, she was not in a good state at all. Um, they then immediately had to go. They were looking for an ambulance. They found an ambulance that was at the party. They then took care of her a little bit there. They went into some sort of other makeshift hospital that little makeshift place that they that they did all of a sudden more terrorists came the paramedics told them to just flee to just run for their lives they had wow. no idea where they were going they were in open field and they just started running for their lives eventually they found a container 30 of them like a caravan 30 of them sat inside of this container on top of one uh, on top of each other um the container again was just being riddled just shot at like crazy. The biggest miracle was that the terrorists didn't open the door and actually see 30 people lying on top of each other yeah. in that caravan. They then managed to escape. They got on a Savannah. The Savannah blew up by an RPG. Yuval was up in flames. She had to roll on the ground in order to extinguish herself. They then found an abandoned tank, which unfortunately we probably think that those um, soldiers were either kidnapped or killed. And they were basically around that tank for four hours, people without limbs, just riddled just with atrocities. Yeah. Yoreen, I am. And thank God she is alive to tell the tale. It's a miracle that she's alive. And uh, again, for anybody who's just joining us, I understand your cousin who was shot at the festival does not speak English. I know this will take some translating, but could you ask her live on air just how she's coping this morning, not only with the physical pain, but I'm sure the mental and emotional anguish as well, and then and then share her answer with us. סיוטים, אתה כל הזמן שומע, אני שומעת הרבה יריות ופיצוצים, גם כשאני מתוך שינה, ואת יודעת, אני בפועל לא נמצאת שם. את נעזרת גם. אני לא מצליחה ללכת, אני נעזרת בכיסא גלגלים, עוזרים לי לעמוד, לשבת, להתקלח. מקבלת צמיחה. מקבלת צמיחה, גם מהמשפחה, וגם מאנשים שזה התחום עבודה שלהם. She says physically, you know, she is more stable. She's still in a wheelchair. Her family has to help her, and she's not. She's in obviously a lot of excruciating pain, but real, perhaps the real, the real pain is the psychological pain, the tremors at night, the nightmares, just constant feelings of that she can hear what is still going on, and just kind of reliving mm -hmm. that moment with a lot of a lot of terror. I know this will be traumatic for her for the rest of her life. We're playing the videos of her in the hospital. Uh, you know, in the hospital bed, it looks like recounting what, what she endured to somebody else in that room. Uh, Yareen, what was your reaction when you realized that 
not only was your cousin at the festival, but then you realize she's in danger, she's been shot. I mean, how did you react? What do you even do in that moment as a family member? I mean, firstly, I didn't even know that she was at the hospital. I didn't know that anything was going down. I woke up in Tel Aviv, my normal weekend Saturday. Um, I wake up to sirens. I then, I didn't know what was going on. I heard a, a bomb basically hit a building right by my house in Tel Aviv. And as I looked at my phone, my mother told me that, you know, Yuval had been shot. And I think that really no one in the country could have ever expected something to this extent to happen. And I think that, you know, it took us a few moments to kind of piece all the pieces together. But now everyone throughout the country is so united, so together. There has been over 300,000 reserve soldiers that are out in the field. The entire country has put together fundraisers all over the world. There has been millions of dollars from Jews and other supporting people, helping um, the soldiers, helping people in need, helping displaced people. So there has been overall a tremendous amount of local and international support. And I think that that has, is what has given us a lot of strength to to just move on and lift our heads and know that, yes, we're going through one of the, probably the most horrendous thing that, I mean, our country has seen in the past 50 years and even in general. But we have no doubt that through our unity and that with the power we, that we are together, we will undoubtedly um, yeah, get out of this and we'll get out of this stronger, no doubt. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.